Here we go, boys. The time that you've been waiting for. How well does a full free-to-play box do in the newest version of the Virtual Joker Ultimate Clash featuring the hardest boss ever, Jiren? Now, spoiler alert, we're not going to get to Jiren. Not at all. I've already done my three wins onto stage three on my stream, twitch.tv forward slash jfanta. Link is in the description. I stream very frequent over there. Um, but I do have a goal in mind for today's video, and that's to beat Topo, which is still a pretty big deal because he is still a potential candidate for the God of Destruction. So let's jump into things. I do not have the Bardock squad as of yet of this recording, so we aren't able to use them right now, but... But no matter, we will still carry on. Of course, the first stage, it is mandatory at this point to use the Ginyu Force. Just, uh, you use every single typing. Doesn't waste too much resources on one specific type, which is the best thing. And, uh, hey, we got most of the type advantage here because, uh, we have two tech units now. Which is really good. So, let's jump into things. Good things and bad things about this battlefield compared to the previous variants. A bad thing... Bosses are way tougher, I think, in my opinion, than the previous. Uh, Jiren being pretty strong. The uh, fights before Jiren are pretty tough, with their own little unique things, of course. To a good thing now, having this new variant, though, is that you don't have to deal with Great Saiyan one-shotting you through RNG. If you're not prepared for Great Saiyan, he can be very annoying, so that's good that we don't have to deal with him anymore. But then it's counteracted with another terrible character as we get completely destroyed there, which is Barbity. So Barbity is now my biggest time consumer. Not only are you not able to super attack with him, but because we don't have that many counters, especially with the typing he is now, we're probably going to use, if we're lucky, we're able to use it with one team. But majority of the time, we're going to probably use two teams in order to beat him just through normal attacks alone. Uh, he's int on this one, so if that changes anything, I guess. All right, so we started pretty bad taking a super attack with the uh, Gohan, but we can bring this back. We have a good, pretty good rotation here. Nappa here is pretty easy for the most part. Yep, all right. So with this 18 key super, easy peasy. And with this world tournament, we do get the Mecha Freezer and King Cold Ella, which I'll be showcasing the Wicked Bloodlines team once again in tomorrow's video. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you do so if you're interested in that video and more videos in the future. Of course, daily uploads are still a thing, no matter the environment, <laughs> until I die, I guess. Now, for Demon King Piccolo, it's unorthodox, but I am going to use an STR team. The reason for that is because I want to save my int units for the Topo fight. And STR is not needed right now, since I've already beaten the Dispo, which is physical. I uh, don't need the I don't need to beat him again since we already took his battlefield points. So so we're just gonna use STR here. It should be pretty easy. Uh, the only thing is if we if he seals us in the wrong times, but other than that, should tank this pretty well. Yeah, the main goal is just to beat Topo and nobody else. I have not beaten Margin Boo. I have not beaten Topo. And who's the other one? I forgot Turles. Is it Turles? I haven't beaten Turles. So those are the fights I have not beaten, and of course Jiren. Because you need to beat those in order to verse Jiren at the very least. Which I haven't seen in my lifetime. So that's nice. That's nice to know. Good thing about having a thousand day Goku is that he can heal us. But unfortunately he's in the last spot. Nice. A million damage. Hopefully B-Pan's passive skill activates so that uh, we don't take too much. Nice Sue. Alright. Did not take any supers. Did Vegito just get... Of course Vegito got sealed. Why wouldn't he get sealed right there? All right, we still have all these blues. And we're going to tank with Vegito, which is the best tanker in this rotation. Still 135,000, but we can heal that back up. Great same, man. We'll stack up his attack and defense. Provide some good damage as well. Halfway there. And I don't know if we can lower attack here. We can, so that helps a little bit as well. Of course, of course. Let's just grab all the blues anyway. Heal us up. And hopefully we don't die here. Alright, Vegeta. I could have transformed him for some extra damage, but... Yes, this is the reason. Are we going to die here? 
Barely. Can we finish this off with Goku? Kaya Ken Goku right here. No. Well, that's a that's a quite unfortunate situation that we went into. So we're gonna just use a pretty weak tech team here. Nothing too crazy. And hopefully this gets us through. <laughs> I mean, he's on 7%. I think one super attack is all we need. As long as he doesn't super attack here, we're good. Nice. All right. So, Ultimate Gohan will finish up Demon King Piccolo. And we can move on to stage two. That was the first time I lost to Demon King Piccolo. <laughs> on to stage two now. I guess we'll take on PyCon since we've been using STR. And um, I'm just going to bring a these guys. I mean, I have a perfect 7 amount for Extreme STR. Probably not going to kill, but it's going to do some good damage for the second STR team to do to finish the job. But if we do beat it, that would be really good. Link-wise, eh, could have been better. We can uh, set up for an 18 key super with the LR Freezer. That would be awesome. Super attack against a pretty de decent tanker, but he lowers our attack. Little sneak peek of what the LR Mecha Freeze and King Cold can do at 55%. Nice. And an additional three bars. Alright, we're going to do that so that we can grab as many orbs as we can. That is an 18 key super there. Hopefully we don't die with it. And I'm not going to take those orbs on the left. Save them for King Cold, Mega Freezer. Get that guaranteed additional super with the Kumba. Ooh, he gets an additional normal. Should be good, should be good. All right, perfect. 18 key super should do some big dammy. Although we don't have these. Uh, actually, we do have a support with the Kumba, but that's about it. All right, hopefully we don't die from this. We do. All right, well, anyway, we got an 18 key super in, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, we only need to deal with 41%, which is very easy for this team to just clean up. Of course, pretty bad rotation. But at least we got some tankers. Krillin won't dodge this. Yep, of course. <laughs> Next turn, we have all the strong units, though. Probably game over for PyCon right here. For sure. There's no way he can kill us, even if he super attacks here. He's going to raise our own Goku's attack. For us to then just do 754,000 attacks that. Which was the same as the Freezer LR that got the 18 key super. And this Goku will raise his defense. And then this Gogeta here will clean it up. Bang, 1.3 mil critical. All right, fight gone down. Pretty simple stuff. He isn't too uh, stressed. And now we don't need to use our STR units. Of course, the more teams we save, the more chances we have to beat Topo. But with Topo, we just need a little bit of crit luck. Uh, he is very, very tanky. So that's the that's the reason why we need to save as many ins units as we can. Go ten here. I like to use you with Pan and then the LR Goku and Bulma as the leaders with our other youth characters. Should fit a full 7 team. And uh, it should kill. Depending on where Raleigh and Goku is. Hopefully in the first spot. In this first turn. No, but still. We've got some good tankers in here. Oh, they're actually in the last spot. Which actually is pretty bad. No worries though. We can uh, keep on tanking this. We should be okay. Although at 55%, these guys should do some decent damage. Yep. I'm going to take a super... 70,000. All right. And then Trunks will raise his defense. Now, I do like to play a little game with Pan. And that is, can we dodge all of the attacks? The stupid game, I know. But... If she can, will save us a lot of HP. One. She does lose attack power, but at least we get the seal in. Oh, okay. Saved. Oh, 
Hopefully, a Riley and Goku get to attack first. One attack. Probably just go with um, Goku and Bulma here. This is probably the final attack that we get. Ooh. Ooh. That was close. But at least it was a strong... This is a strong turn here. Come on. Oh, I think we needed one crit, and that's it. Additional... No. Oh, that's fine. A little bit of HP left from Gozen. Actually getting really unlucky here. Having to use two teams. Um, but we can just use Extreme Team. And that will do the job. And then we have to deal with Barbity. Which I'm not looking forward to. At all. There we go. Copy Vegeta. We'll clean things up. Mm -bop. Oh. <laughs> A shed of HP. Ella Androids will finish things up. Mm -bop. There we go. Alright. On to the second stage boss. And I'm not going to show most of it. Really, Barbity cannot kill us. He can only just time us out. Um, but I do want to show you the teams that I'm going to be running. So, Extreme Team, if you've seen any of my other Battlefield videos, this is my go-to team. I would, I want to change it up next time because I forgot in for this video, but definitely don't need Golden Freezer here. I could probably swap him out for like another physical, extreme physical hitter. Um, but for now, this is all we got. And if this does fail, uh, we use the super physical. So I'm going to skip most of this. This is just normal attacks and then um, get back to you when we're about on our last hit. Okay, so I'm back and I'm on the last turn. For this Barbity fight, he's on one and a bit bars left, which is very rare for us to kill here, but it is possible with a all criticals. Everybody here gets a critical. <laughs> and then maybe an additional super attack along the way as well. But other than that, we're probably going to have to use another team here. As you can see, we're only doing like 100,000 to 200,000 per normal hit, which is not ideal. Oh. Yeah, alright. So, half a bar left. We can just use a really... We can just use a, our remaining physical team and we should be okay. So, we're going to use something like this. It should be good enough with the Saber Men to just get rid of 10% here. And uh, Barbity should be good. I, actually, this is one of probably my better Barbity runs. Usually, I would probably use the uh, full physical roster that I do have. And one more hit... Bang. All right, Barbity down and on to stage three. Our one and only chance against Topo. Hopefully, the RNG is with us this time because I wasn't able to get it done on stream. Okay, here we go. Topo, we have two chances, two real chances here. First, with Extreme Int, we need to make sure that we have 18 key supers with the Vegeta and the Metal Cooler army. And then we'll have a good chance of getting at least past half health. Hopefully the Super Int will finish the rest. Good rotation to start things off here. And we can set up for the full 18 key super, which is even better. Um, I wish I could save all of those, honestly. You can save a majority of it. Super attack, uh, not so great. Should have put Freezer there, but... At least normal attacks are okay. 1.1 million. Plus, he also raises everybody's stats, attack stat, which could be nice. Additional supers, that's what we also need. One. And it's a crit. Crits are important against Topo. Another one, come on, another crit. No, but still a million damage. I'll take it. And now, because we lost so much HP... The next time he comes around, he isn't going to be too good. But I'll take the additional. Wish we could stun or something on this. Wow, even the normal attacks do us big damage. Crit normal? Okay. Oh, Vegeta's not even here. Damn it. Okay, 50% damage reduction. A 16, can he tank? 35,000. Hopefully that's enough. I'm not too sure, honestly. 49,000 HP. TN needs probably multiple supers to tank pretty good. Since he doesn't have any DB Saga friends with him. 15,000. Zabora. Can he really tank these? 
No. That sucks. No Vegeta on the rotation. And just like that, in two turns, we're down. Oh, good, though. We have another in team. But I'm scared because we got destroyed there. Goku Jr. is our strongest hitter for this. And then we have Ghost Tanks here to heal us up. This isn't looking good. Trunks also with the crits would be really nice. Unfortunately, the team doesn't link too well. Not as well as you'd hope. All right, Giru is the best tanker out of all for sure. Get the three rainbow orbs for Ghost Tanks. Yep. Not much damage. We need crits on the super team. Come on, Goku Jr. It's all up to you, really, for the high damage. There we go. 1.4 for the crit. Really good. And we get an additional. I'll take that. That raises our attack and defense up again for the turn. Which means normal attacks should be no problems. Yep, 6,000. I'm going to put this Trunks here. Trunks is a good damage dealer as well. The Yardrag Goku, not so great. He is only there to really counter. Only normal attacks, really. Here we go. Crit, nice, 900,000. LR Piccolo, 100% by the way. Another crit. Tank's really good for this. Piccolo is so good for Battlefield. Low key. He is so good for it. And nice. This That was probably the best we could have ever asked for. And now that we're under 50%, everybody here gets a big boost. I could put Goku Jr. there. Because after he super attack, he raises the defense. But I think overall, we're going to get more defense or HP in the long run there. Is this another crit? Please be another crit. No. Super attack here. Hopefully we're good. 47,000. If Goku here can dodge. Yes, okay. 54,000. No super attacks, please. We should be good. Let's grab all the rainbows here. Guess we'll super attack with you. And no super attack for the Trunks, unfortunately. Hopefully that wasn't a bad idea. Because I want Ghost Tanks to really keep being in the rotation. I mean, he just did get a critical right there, which is really nice. And Trunks can get an additional super attack. He's got majority additionals in his um, hidden potentials. Got the crit normal. Okay. Let's just hope we live only normals. Only normals. Please. Even at 1%, Topo will be so annoying to deal with. 1% HP. No! Is that going to kill us? I think that's it. Yep. Oh, that sucks. We got to keep trying. 10% HP. I had him on 10% or something around there on the stream. Did not go so well. Crit. Come on, one more super. Yes. Crit. One more. No. Gohan has crits in him. Nothing. Yikes. That's a huge yikes. We still have tech units to give us a chance. A fighting chance. Candy Vegito for the Dodgers. One crit and a dream. No. Oh my. Do you see how annoying it is? Even Topo at 1% will be a big problem. I guess we're using our physicals for the last battle. I could use it on Turles since I haven't beaten Turles, but right now, Topo just is annoying. He's annoying enough that I'm just going to use my physicals for one chance. All that really needs to happen here is that Vegeta Jr. crits. I feel like that's the only thing that we need to happen. Here we go. Please. Please crit. 
Yes! We did it! Oh my god, thank god. I was gonna say we were dead if we didn't crit there. Vegeta Jr., you're so good. And there we go. 20,000. We worked so hard for 20,000. And that's gonna wrap up my Battlefield video. I will get Turles done off screen, hopefully. Um, obviously now I can use my int units for when they actually need to be needed, and then we can save my physical units for Turles. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. As always, stay safe, stay busy, peace out.